Now more on the sentencing of R. Kelly. Julian Cruz is live at the Dirksen Federal Building this afternoon where the former singing superstar learned his fate in this federal case in Chicago. Julian. Well, Lourdes and Ben R. Kelly getting a 20-year prison sentence. Federal prosecutors here in Chicago making no secret that they had hoped for a 25-year sentence. This on top of the 30-year prison sentence already handed down by a judge in New York. That was for a 2021 sex trafficking conviction. But nearly all of R. Kelly's Chicago sentence to be served at the same time as that 30-year sentence. The fact that he ran a concurrent, mostly, with the exception of one year, is a big win for us. R. Kelly's lead attorney, Jennifer Bonjean, at the Dirksen Federal Building, reacting to the 20-year sentence handed down by Judge Harry Leinenweber today. Mr. Kelly is in good spirits. Um, he is pleased with the outcome of the case. Today's sentence only adding a year of prison time to the 30 years Kelly is already serving on the 2021 New York conviction. There is a point at which enough is enough. But the outcome doing little to change the stark reality for the 56-year-old Kelly still facing a sex trafficking prosecution in Minnesota. Unless he defies all odds, he will likely die in prison. But Bonjean planning to appeal the New York and Chicago convictions. Are we disappointed that we didn't get more of a consecutive sentence? Absolutely. U.S. Attorney for the Northern District of Illinois, John Lausch, pointing to upcoming appeals, arguing that the Chicago 20-year sentence is important. Regardless of what happens with the 30 years of New York, and you heard today that that case is going to go on appeal, I'm sure this case will be appealed to by the defense, which is their right, but a 20-year sentence in this case is impactful. John Lausch thanking the victims in this case for courageously coming forward and testifying, but members of R. Kelly's family attending today's sentencing hearing calling into question the witnesses' credibility. More details coming up in the 5 o'clock hour. At the Dirksen Federal Building, Julian Cruz, WGN News.